I know, guys, I know. I cannot believe it is this time of year. I really can't, and don't get me wrong, I'm very excited, the ho I love this time of year. But don't you feel like we were just here? <laughs> I think it just, the older and older you get, the more like time just flies by even faster. But we are here together, aren't we? And so I've got my, my coffee and I've got my Sephora app pulled up. We're going to chat about all of the different, well, not all of them, because my gosh, there are thousands, but I've weeded through. I spent a lot of time this morning kind of saving some that I felt like talking about, ones that I think look really cool and ones that I think maybe you should skip on and everything in between. So we're gonna get into it, but I did wanna thank today's video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. HelloFresh, as you guys know, we've loved and used for years. It is our favorite meal delivery service. Honestly, with this time of year upon us, everything fills up fast, doesn't it? Your calendar fills up fast, you feel so busy. I know for me, I feel li that low level of stress, you know, that just lingers during this time of year. And I love that with HelloFresh, it saves us so much time and stress. We get pre-portioned ingredients with the meals. It comes with a really nice recipe card that lays everything out step-by-step step for your meal. And it just makes our life easier, you guys. So much less guesswork, not making grocery lists, and all of that kind of stuff that goes into it. They have some really cozy seasonal favorites like their cowboy turkey and black bean chili. They've got their sweet corn and green pepper chowder. That one sounds really good. And I love that the ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days, so you know you're getting fresh ingredients. And they also have their HelloFresh market, and so if you're looking for quick breakfast, charcuterie boards, desserts, it makes it easier for you to prep for a party or just to fill your pantry. And with over 35 weekly recipes, there really is something for everyone. They have kid-friendly recipes that are picky eater proof. You can also easily customize your recipe by swapping proteins or sides. You can upgrade to choice proteins. You could add protein to a veggie meal. There's so much flexibility. And some of my favorites are their quick and easy options. They have 20 minute meals. They have easy cleanup recipes, which I really love. And so it just makes your time in the kitchen in the evening so much more stress-free, so much easier. And you actually save money on dinner. It's cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. Plus you can change your preferences, delivery day and address in just a few clicks on their website. It's so easy to use. Plus each recipe comes with pre-portioned ingredients, which means it saves you time and it saves you a lot of prep work as well. So if you wanna check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code JBRAWN70 for 70% off plus free shipping. I'll have that link and everything right at the top of the description box. Okay, okay. This looks so good. I have never made chicken this way with like crispy onions on top and cheese and kind of like a kind of honey mustard like dressing. And it was smelling really good while it was baking. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. The crispy onion is really good. Tyler is gonna love this. He's such a fan of the, like, you know, like the French fried onion type thing. He sometimes will put those in salads. Green beans, as always, are so good. I'm curious to try this garlic toast too. The garlic butter, so good. I don't know that I've ever made garlic butter like at home like that, and it was so good. I probably should have softened the butter a bit more, but so, so good. That's totally like something I'm gonna keep in mind for future. Mm. Another really good meal. Alrighty, so have you got your drink? Let me pull up. I was trying to, a lot of the things I wanted to talk about are sold out. And so who knows by the time they this comes up, I may have to do a part two to this. <laughs> As I'm looking at it, I'm like, there's and there's a lot of good out there that I do wanna talk about. So we'll see, I'm gonna to try to fit everything into this video. There may be a part two, let me know if you would be interested. Let's talk about one, probably the first one that got me excited for these gift sets and like this time of year is this set right here. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury mini beauty highlighter wand duo set. So this has their highlighter and then it has like their blush highlighter, like their blush light or whatever. And so these are two of my favorite products. Every time I tap them on, they look so gorgeous. Like they are ones that I feel like sell out a lot. And so yes, these are a mini. If you're a makeup lover, like if you're watching this video, you're probably a beauty lover, makeup lover, you know, you might not use it up for a long time anyway. So having the full size is not always best depending on what it is. And this is the kind of product because it is liquid, it's probably going to go off faster than like a powder would. So, you know, I think it could be a really good option, especially if you're someone that you've always wanted to try these or they're always sold out when you wanna buy them. You could try two different ones and I think it's awesome. I really do. So 
And yeah, those are the two shades I have, Pink Gasm for the blush and then Spotlight for the highlighter. I absolutely love it. It just looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. So highly recommend. That was like the one I, I knew I wanted to start this off with because I think those are such great products. And it should probably also be said here towards the beginning that, you know, for, well, first of all, I'm gonna link everything below. So thank you for your support. If you use any of those links, no pressure. But the other thing I wanted to say is, as I'm, I've watched, you know, some of these videos and it was making me giggle because I sometimes get lost in this like YouTube world where I'm like talking about like these things just for us, like that I would be buying for myself or that you'd be buying for yourself. But obviously <laughs> the idea is that these are gifts you might get someone. So keep that in mind too, as you're, as you're looking through these, I know a lot of us watch them thinking about ourselves. Cause I mean, you know, it's such a good deal or like things you want to try. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that either, but keeping in mind, there may be someone in your life that might like, like these, you know? Maybe this is just for me. Selfish Jesse is just watching these, like thinking about what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on that. Anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> I am, by the way, working on like some gift guide videos. I'll have an Amazon gift guide this year and some other things. So definitely stay tuned for those videos. Okay, this looks interesting to me. This is the Benefit Great Brow Basics Pencil and Gel Set. So it's 36 bucks as it's a $60 value. Two of the three products are full size. So I feel like this is one of the best deals. You get the Gimme Brow Plus Volumizing Eyebrow Gel, which I really like, the full size Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and then a mini of their um, Precisely My Brow. So amazing deal, especially if you use these products regularly, it's a great deal, but if you've always wanted to try it or you just need a new brow product, these are all really good. And again, for 36 bucks to get two of them full size and a mini, that's, that's pretty good. So it's like really good. Like I'm starting to wonder like, how are they doing that and making any money? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're making money. Okay, this is one I've heard a lot about and it does look really cool. This is the Sephora Favorites makeup must have set. So it's 54 bucks. It says $150 value. It has some favorites of mine in here. It's got the Grande Lash, which 100%, the Grande Lash Serum and the Grande Brow Serum, I talk about it every year. Anytime you can get those on a better deal, I'll talk about a kit in a second, and you've been wanting to try them, do it because they're expensive, but they work. They 100% work, but you have to keep using them. It sucks. <laughs> So anyway, it's got the um, Ilia mascara. I think this is their limitless one, and that's a good mascara. I tried it in a trial size a while ago, and it was really good. Um, it has a Fenty Beauty gloss. It's got the Polish Choice BHA liquid exfoliant, which is a holy grail of mine. I got back to using again, and my skin looks so much better. Like my pores just look less obvious. It is that is there's a reason that's so popular. But it also has the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes, which I think is so pretty. And then it's got the Anastasia Brow Freeze, Urban Decay All Nighter, a little Natasha Denona palette, a Kat Von D Liquid Liner. I think it's liquid. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's full size. So there's a lot in there. I would say if there are like three products in there you've been wanting to try, it's probably worth buying. Maybe like four. That's definitely one of the like, it's up there in the best ones they're offering, I think, this year. Okay, this is one I remember eyeing, I don't know if it was this exact one or something similar last year, didn't buy it, kicked myself because then I was like wanting to buy it later this year and I did buy during this for sale one of these. So this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Squad Lip Set. So I bought the one in Cherry Blossom and I will say, now that I've tried it, I've only tried it twice, because my lips are more pigmented, it's a little bit too light for me. It looks really good on like Taylor Wynn will wear it and there's something about the tone of her lips and that and it looks gorgeous. It's just a little bit too pale for me and so, but this has other shades that I have my eye on. It has Ginger, which is a warm nude, and Cranberry, which is a cranberry shade. And then it has a shade called Rose. So I'm thinking about it, it's $39, but I'm pretty sure all four of these, yeah, are full size. And they're really good. I love how comfortable it is. It's got that slight like minty tingle. So I know a lot of us here on YouTube are talking about this. There's a reason it's really good. And this is an insane deal. And it looks like it's two separate boxes. So you could totally gift it, you know, split it apart and gift it to two different people or keep one for yourself, gift the other part, you know, lots of options. <laughs> I'm loving every once in a while, I'll add something to my cart because I was gonna heart them and I ended up adding them to my cart just to remember which ones I wanted to talk about. Some of them, boy, I added to my cart like twice. I must've really meant it. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few. Uh, well, this is one I added twice. The Tower 28 Dreamy Gleamy Holiday Lip Gloss Duo Set. I just love this gloss formula. 22 bucks, $30 value. So you are saving a little bit of money. You know, obviously if you were to just buy one, because like if there was one shade you had your eye on, it would be cheaper to just buy the one. But if you know these are two shades you'd use, or if you know someone would love this as a gift, I think it's lovely. It is such a comfortable lip gloss formula, makes your lips look so much more youthful and juicy and plumpy. 
Ooh, I really like them. Yeah, and these are two shades I don't think I've ever tried. Yeah, the shade Dream. Oh, and Coconut, which I've definitely tried. So here's a skincare one uh, from Ren. This is the Gift of Glow Trio. It's $40, says it's a $60 value. I wanna see which of these is full size. Okay, it looks like the toner is probably full size. I love this toner. It's their, what do they actually call it? Ready Steady Glow AHA Tonic. I wouldn't use this in conjunction with my like Polish Choice. I would use one or the other. I love this one too, and it just, it's a very refreshing toner, I have to say, and that's one I've gone through like three bottles of. So I definitely would recommend, I don't know if that's full, full size, but it's definitely bigger, it's 3.4, 3.3 ounces. But it also has a lactic acid, uh, Renewal Mask, a Vitamin C Gel Cream. I've never tried either of those, but I tend to like a lot from this line from Ren. So I would venture to say, if you were interested in the toner, it'd be worth it because you're getting to try two other products from it. I don't recommend this one. And let me explain myself. So it's $49 from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk Beautifying Lip Set. I love her lipsticks and lip liners. I've never really found a gloss of hers that is just like revolutionary. I just, none of them have been terrible, but none of them have been so good that like, I feel like anyone really needs to spend the money. But this other thing, their Happy Kiss Lip Balm, I hate. I hate, it makes like any dryness on your lips. It just accentuates them. It looks awful on my lips. I don't know what it is. So with only 50% of the four products here that I would really recommend, I just don't think it's worth $50. Now, if you've been dying to try, I'm gonna talk about another one that I do think is worth it from this brand. But this is one that for me, and this is a totally personal thing, I just don't, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, let's go ahead and find that one I do wanna recommend. Where is it? Okay, this one. The Charlotte Tilbury Mini Iconic Matte Revolution Lip Trio Set. So obviously these are gonna be minis, but you're spending $32, you get three shades. I wonder what the shades are. They look really pretty. Um, you get the shade Pillow Talk. You get um, the berry red shade called Walk of No Shame and the shade Supermodel. I didn't know that was in it, which is another favorite shade of mine. It's kind of like a nude rose. Again, it's a mini. If you're not someone that goes through lipsticks like all the way through, this is probably better than just buying full sizes because you might not use it up. Plus then if you did fall in love with like, let's say you fell in love with the shade Pillow Talk, then you can use it up and buy the full size in the future. So this is the way I would go if you were wanting to try some of the lipsticks. I definitely like the other line of lipsticks better than her Matte Revolution ones. But again, that's a preference thing. I'll link, my favorite shade is In Love with Olivia and it's from her other line that I can never remember the name of, but they're a little bit more like moisturizing. Mm. So I'll link that below too, because if you just want like one awesome lipstick, that is, that's like my number one. If I got rid of everything but one, that's the one I would keep, no doubt about it. Sephora favorites, there's another one called their Blush and Glow Cheek Set. So it comes with five cheek products, it's $36. It says $85 value. These shades just look really pretty and it looks like they're all kind of different from each other, which is nice. I feel like my makeup looks wild today. Not necessarily in a good way. Like what's going on with my forehead? What are we, <laughs> I didn't powder it and that might be part of it. Let me see. Could just be the lighting too, but I don't know. It's just looking, uh, this is the essence. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> the essence. My Skin Perfector, I think this might be already discontinued. I swear I just talked about it and it's already like, you can't find it. <laughs> Let's just kind of clean it up here a little bit. I don't mind like the glow, it just feels like a lot. Maybe I'll, I should do my under eyes, that's the other piece of it. Hope you're not minding this little intermission here. Oh, I use that for highlight. I, I'm, I'm mixing up my brushes and now I've got like highlight on ones that don't typically have. I already have like glitter fallout from a Wet n Wild palette I used on my under eye and it just is what it is. That looks better. Should have done that from the beginning. I knew something was missing. So much better. Some of you guys are probably watching like, Jessica, you look exactly the same. I don't know. So back to this little blush kit. It has, okay, it looks like two full sizes. The, okay, wow, then that's definitely worth it. The NARS Blush and Orgasm, the full size. The Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light and Sandy Cheeks, full size. And then minis of the Tarte uh, Blush and Party. And then the Nude Sticks Nudies in Sunkiss, and then the Iconic London mini size of their liquid highlight. So, I mean, for $36 to get two full size like that, NARS blush alone is around that price. So you're getting two full sizes and three other ones to try. That may be one of the best, like I'm considering it, but I don't need the NARS orgasm blush. So that's a really, really good one to keep your eyes on. <laughs> Okay, I, t I teased about this. The Grande Cosmetics. This is their First Class Beauty Lash and Brow Set. I This is $69. So their full size 
Grande Lash and Grande Brow products are around $70. So for 69, so basically the same price, you get the full size grande lash, but you also get a grande brow. That one is like 36 bucks as it is, or like 30 bucks. And then you also get a, oh snap, I might buy this. The grande lash serum mini as well, but it's like a mini mini. Like they've got the like full size, the like medium, and then like the, but you get a mini of that, which is nice. And then the grande liner, which I've never tried. So $150 value, it like actually is because you actually will pay that price if you end up wanting it. And boy, they got us, because like I said, you end up falling in love with it and you gotta keep using it. So if you are curious, I had like very non-existent brows a few years ago, started using the Grande Brow every night, because it takes like two seconds to put on. So I finally committed to it, I did it, and my brows grew in, you guys. Like it is crazy, they're darker than they ever were, they're thicker, like it, I never thought it would work. I'm the most skeptical person in the world. But I was like, perfect, great, they look great. And so I stopped using it, and guess what? A few months later, they were like almost back to the way they were. I'm like, no. So now I know you just gotta, you just kind of keep throwing money at them. This one I half recommend. This is the Paula's Choice Do More For Your Pores kit. It's $17, $22 value. These are like little minis. This is a great way to try things, especially when they're this small, but it's just such a small amount. Again, it's got that liquid exfoliant, which is amazing. So it also comes with their Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. It's an SPF, but this one is so liquidy. I didn't like it. I definitely like their Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF. That stuff is like top three favorite sunscreens. It's got a little bit of a tint, but nothing crazy. Like it's just perfect. It's such a good one, but this is the one I didn't really like. I didn't end up finishing. And so that's why I'm like, eh, I think I would skip it. All right. Sephora favorites, mini holiday must have set. This, my eyes were drawn to this one because there are two absolute favorites in here, actually three, but two. So 30 bucks. It doesn't have the retail value on this. I wonder if it says it on the box, but it has the say glowy super gel. You guys, I love that stuff is like a glowy primer. You can use it in other ways too, but that's how I do it. I just put it all over then put my foundation on top and it is so beautiful. And that is the mini. I have the mini and it's been lasting a while. I use it a lot and I still have like half of it. Um, but it also has my favorite setting spray, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray. There was a two pack of these that I know wasn't like the greatest deal when you actually break it down. It was sold out, like it was already sold out, but this has it in it. And then it's got the living proof dry shampoo, which is pretty good. I really like the Brazilian boom boom cream. That stuff is lovely, especially like on your legs and it smells good. Has the summer Fridays. I'm assuming that's the jet lag mask. I, that stuff is okay. People love it. I'm just, I don't have the time, I feel like, to mask. I don't find myself masking often. And when I do, I'm not really usually going for hydration. I'm going for like brightness or I'm going for like pore tightening or you know what I mean? But if you were looking for hydration, that's the whole idea behind that, I think. And then the roller lash from Benefit Mascara, I'm not a big fan of, but I think this is a really good set for $30. Like you're getting, at least for me, three favorites. The dry shampoo is really good too. It just, if I remember right, it has a big time white cast, but it works, man. Like it soaks up that oil. <laughs> so Clinique has their Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm Makeup Remover Duo. This is one I accidentally added twice. It's $48, but I would say this is for you. If you already know you love this and you go through it, buy one of these because you're saving, what, $14 versus just buying two full size of them. But again, this isn't for you if this is, you're not even sure if you like it, you know, why would you spend $50 on it? I guess that would be obvious to anyone, but I just felt the need to say it. In case you needed to hear it from someone, I can be the one to tell you. <laughs> but um, I'm thinking about it because I really do like it, but I've definitely found, this is one of my favorite makeup removers. I just hate spending the money on it. And because I can find similar for cheaper. And I really have been enjoying like more like oil based ones, not necessarily a balm, but like an oil that I can squirt and go. I'll link one I found on Amazon from Purito that I really like. That's of course cheaper. It's lasting forever. I'm almost through with it. Um, but anyway, it's really good. And I feel like no one's talking about it. So I'll definitely link that if you want a, an alternative that's totally different, but cheaper too. <laughs> So benefit, oh, okay, let's talk about this first. Too Faced, any, listen guys, okay, I actually really like Too Faced's eyeshadow formula. Like, really like it. I just repurchased the, the peach palette, I love it. But their Christmas ones, I really would say avoid. I mean, I guess you could buy it for someone as a gift, but Again, there's just, they're never the same quality ever. It's already on sale. It says $309 value for $54. Right now it's on sale for 43. Um, it is not a $309 value. Do not let them. <laughs> and even just kind of looking at it, like I'm not even a big fan of 
well, some of the colors are okay. So they're always usually really cutesy and really, you know, really themed. And if that's what you're into, or like every year you have a tradition of like buying it, using it, you do you. I think that's awesome. But just from a quality standpoint, they're never the same. So I feel like every year it's my duty to mention that. Same goes for Tarte. Their like holiday palettes are never the same quality as their like normal palettes. Okay but they are cute. Ula Henriksen has, this one I added twice as well, the, I was really serious about this one, the Seeking Self Care Skincare Fave Set. It's $56, $90 value. It has a full size of one of my favorite moisturizers. This is their Strength Trainer Peptide Boost. Now, this was a stretch for me because I usually like a nice, like thicker moisturizer and this one almost is more gel-like. It's not, but it definitely has that like gel cream feel to it. And usually I don't like that, but I really like this one. I just used it up, but it also has uh, their Banana Bright Eye Cream and their Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner, which I also really like. So, you know, it's a good set. I, I feel like generally I like a lot of Ula Henriksen products. They're a very popular brand at Sephora. I have to assume it's one of their best selling skincare brands, uh, but that moisturizer is so good. I'm wondering, how much is that moisturizer as it is? $48 for the same size. So for 56, so for $8 more, you're also getting a, you know, kind of like nicer deluxe size sample of the Glow 2 and then the Banana Bright Eye Serum or Eye Cream. I think that's a pretty good deal. So Benefit has their mini Bright and Peachy Blush Duo Set. It says $34 value. It's always hard to say because these are mini. So like how much does the, oh wait, they do sell mini. So actually we can't, so you, okay, you're saving like six bucks, but you're getting two different shades that you can kind of try. If these were two shades you genuinely wanted to try, I think it'd be great. Or if you were buying these blushes for someone, both of these are definitely for lighter skin tones. So just keep that in mind. Both of these shades are not super um, pigmented. I mean, they are, but it's just a very light shade, I guess I should say. So that's something to keep in mind. I have the shade Peach and I really like it. It's just a nice light peach shade. But um, otherwise, if these weren't ones you were like already drawn to, I would say just buy minis of the shades you actually want um, or just buy one mini and you'd still be saving money. But it is cute. It's cute that it's like in a little box together and I do like that formula. This next one is $27 and it's the Lawless Mini Winter Beach Lip Plumper Set. I love these glosses. It's their Forget the Filler glosses. They're beautiful. I just bought another shade in the shade George. Did I? Wait, maybe I didn't, I think. Well, anyway, it's one of my favorite gloss formulas. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is a three pack, but of course they're mini. So I was just looking, the full size of their Forget the Filler glosses is $25. So this is $2 more, but you're getting three shades. Obviously you're not getting full size, but you kind of, apples to apples, it's kind of cool that you get to try three different ones. And again, like, do you use up glosses? Cause these do go bad pretty somewhat quickly. So I think that looks pretty cool. I want to see what shades it is that are in there. The shade Bitten which is a rosy mauve, blushed sand, which is a muted rosy beige, and rose pearl, a rosy nude with a pearl finish. Who gets to name these, you know? Even the descriptions of it is interesting. They're all so similar, but yet a little bit different. But if I had to like pick which one was the rosy mauve or the muted rosy beige, like it, I feel like it'd be hard to be like, I think that's that one. <laughs> I don't know. So this one is the NARS, the Glow Getter face and lip set. So I really like their these afterglow lip balms. I feel like they're kind of underrated. They're kind of pricey for what they are, but if you were getting it in a kit, they're just one of those glosses, you kind of, or not glosses, balms that you throw on. And it, if I'm remembering right, the one I have just kind of like adjusts to your lip shade a little bit. Yeah. And then it has the blush orgasm and then their light reflecting setting powder and crystal, which I actually have here, which I do like. So I want to see size wise, cause this is still like 40 something dollars. So full size of the Afterglow lip balm and then a mini blush and the mini setting powder. That setting powder a little bit goes a long way because it, you use a thin layer. I use it on my under eye, it's really pretty. Um, so for 45 bucks, you know, the Afterglow lip balm full size is $28. So you're spending, you know what, $17 more, but you're getting a mini of the blush and a mini of that under eye powder. I don't think that's that crazy and those are all really good products. Okay, that's all I added. I, you know, I'm like tempted to go back into it and like talk about more, but if you wanna see a part two to this, maybe in a few weeks, cause they're constantly throwing new stuff up. So that would give a little bit of breathing space in between. Let me know, I, you know, I'm, I'm entertaining the idea of it. Um, I'm also entertaining the idea of squeezing in more videos in the next month or two. 
uh, versus my two a week. We'll kind of see, maybe there'll just be a bonus video here and there because there's so much I want to film about. And in my two video a week schedule, I'm like struggling to like squeeze them in because I there's so many video ideas I have right now. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. And thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring a portion of this video. So again, if you want to try out HelloFresh for yourself and your household, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use code JBRON70 to get 70% off and free shipping. That is an awesome, awesome deal. It's probably the best deal I've seen yet since uh, working with them. So it's definitely a good time to give it a try. And don't forget, it's a really good gift to give. If you are like stuck and someone's hard to buy for, I've gifted a HelloFresh um, like week or two to people in my life before and they loved it and it's such a unique gift idea. So just throwing that out there. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.